Right, good day to everybody. It's um, our April check time. So it is the 31st today of March, but we're marching out of March and uh, you will be hopefully partaking in a few progress checks for us. Well, not for us, a, a few progress checks for yourself uh, and these can be contrasted and compared against maybe previous months that you've completed. And this is all to do with our active snacking calendar, our movement snacking active calendar, to be precise, of 2021. Um, so you might be joining us on, um, on YouTube. Uh, you might be joining us on Facebook. Um, and either way, it doesn't matter. Um, but this will matter. You will need to accompany yourself with an active calendar. A pen and paper, if you haven't got an active calendar, is okay. Um, whatever you're going to be doing today, perhaps, you can record by just jotting it down on the bit here inside the active calendar or on a bit of paper or a calendar that you've got yourself in your kitchen hanging up. Um, you're with me, Kelsey Leverton, today. Um, I'm going to take you through these um, checks and uh, these progress checks uh, and of course um, you can choose to do all of them, some of them or just choose to have a look at them um, with what we're doing today. We will also cover what's featured in our August month on the calendar. Hang on a minute, let me just find it. Um, so we've got some sideways stepping and seated um, options as well that feature across August. Not, not August, what am I talking about? April, did I say August twice then? April, we are on April, not August, although it begins with an A. Right, so um, I know just a few of you might be joining us on a Facebook Live right now. Um, so I'll just give you a sneaky little wave. Hi, how are you? Hope you're doing okay. Um, <laughs> I know, Bex, August. What am I talking about? Shall we begin? We always begin our movement snacks with a circulation booster. This is also featured on one of the first pages in this calendar as well. Um, and uh, it's, it's good... Um, it's good discipline to crowbar in a little bit of um, circulation boosting um, before you are choosing to do any movement snacks. And also a bit of circ boost goes a long way just through day to day life. It prepares your body, prepares yourself for when you maybe are getting up into standing or maybe doing stuff like um, getting dressed, putting stuff away in the kitchen, cleaning the house, getting in the garden and stuff like that. It can prepare your body systems, your muscles and your joints for that action that you're going to be getting along with. Right, we normally do a three, two, one. So I will do a three, two, one today. So three, two, one. Good afternoon. Um, hello and welcome to today's uh, progress checks um, for our launch into um, April. We're going to start with a um, circulation boosting, a bit of warming up, just for a couple of minutes or so, just to prepare us for what we've got in store. If you've got some support around you in standing, you may need it. Maybe a wall, a heavy piece of furniture, a work surface, a shelving unit or something like that. Standing tall with feet around hip distance apart and you might want to get stuck into just a few foot pedals. I'm going to take up a seat now and do our seated prompts. So those of you in seated, follow me. Sitting tall, back is away from the support of the chair, active posture. You might want to take some hip walks forwards, lifting and shifting, bringing the feet through as well. And then a few posture checks in seated, so lengthen through your spine. The neck should feel longer. Perhaps you feel a bit taller as well. And notice a gap between your ribs and your hips there. You might want to come into a leg march. So it's a lifted version of what you've just been doing. The knees are coming up a bit higher. The um, toes are coming up and away from the floor this time. 
keep going with that. And if you at any point feel like you're tiring, your hips are aching a bit, you want to come down to some, some foot pedals, then have a go there. I'm going to keep the foot pedals going and bring in some arm swings. So one arm at a time might be what you're choosing to do. Change sides at some point, of course. And this is a movement coming from the shoulder, a fluid swinging type movement. Both arms in at the same time, if you like. I'll leave that with you. Mix it up, do what feels right. In, here in standing, you might not quite be ready to, to let go of your support completely, and that's okay. But if you do, just make sure that you are feeling comfortable and confident in your standing, marching um, form. We're going to bring it down into a steady stop. Take a pause there, and we're going to have a look at our active calendar and have a go at our shoulder uh, mobility movements. We've got two of them. Uh, so we are on the second page, well, the third page of the active calendar. Um, let me get it in the right place. There's your progress checks. Two for the top half. So, Take up a seated position, make the most out of that sitting as well, crowbar in an extra bit of leg worth, um, and come forwards into your chair a little way, so using some hip walks. The first one we're going to do, which one is first? I, I can't, I don't remember. It's reaching over your shoulders. So sitting up tall, make the most of your posture there. Just take your hand maybe over and towards your shoulder. See if you can lift the elbow up and see if you can reach over your shoulder a little bit. Now we're all wired a bit differently. You may find your sticking point at a, any different position. Notice how far you can reach over your shoulder. And then have a go at the other side. You've, you'll have a comparison there, perhaps. Um, the scores go, one, I can touch my ear. Two, I can touch the back of my head. Three, you can touch the base of your neck. Or four, you can touch the top of your shoulder blade. So four potential uh, potentialnesses there. Have a go on the other side. Whereabouts can you reach if you haven't done already? Job done with that one. Looking at um, the back of thigh then. Oh, we only have one shoulder one. <laughs> I thought we had two. We've got a, a back of thigh movement. So here, within the front area of your chair, your leg straightened out as if we're going to do the back of thigh stretch that we do in the 4 p.m. You might want to take one hand down to your straight leg and have the other hand onto your bent leg. Now here, the difference is the toes are pulling up, the toes are pointing upwards. Sit tall, like we do in our, our 4 p.m. stretch, and reach forwards, see how far you can reach down your leg. And this is without twisting to get that bit further, without letting the knee pop up, again, to let you get that bit further. Keep the knee as straight as you can. Keep your body and your back as straight as you can and have a go down. Now, have a go at the other leg and I shall have a read out of the levels. So the first level is that you can reach your knee, that you can reach the top of your shin, you can reach the mid shin, you can reach your toes. They're a bit further away, aren't they? Remember the toes are up. Or you can reach beyond your toes all without cheating mode in place. 
recover steadily, take a pause and a rest through your posture. And we'll have a look next at our four point balance check. It's not a scale, it's a check. Four point balance check revolves around getting our feet positioned in, guess what, four differing um, of uh, different positions. So here's the first one. The first one is feet together. Now, as you position your feet, you may feel better holding on. Some of these might not challenge your balance as much as the ones that are to come. So here's your first position, feet together. Once you're there, arrange your posture and then see if you can release your support. You don't have to have your hands around here, it might be here. So if you feel you need to touch down at any point, you can do. But what we're aiming for here, everyone, is a 10 second hold. So see how that works for you. If you move your feet, if you have to hold on to something, then stop there. See how many seconds you've got. So it might be level one, you achieved 10 seconds, or it might be level one, you achieved eight seconds, for example. Position two, we're gonna bring our feet into a, what we call a semi-tandem position. So again, standing, looking down, that will help you position your feet, but you're coming into a narrower stride, but still sharing the weight evenly from the front foot to the back foot. Standing tall and count your own 10 seconds here with your hands lifted away from the support, if you can, if you can't, have a go at the foot position and uh, just make a note that you needed to hold on throughout. That's okay. And then you've got to measure, you've got to gauge. Once you've done your 10 seconds, take a pause there. Now this is where it notches up a little bit. We're going to have a go. I'm going to come a bit closer, make sure you can see my feet. At putting one foot directly in front of the other. You might prefer your support to your side at this point. So one foot goes directly in front of the other. Just have an adjust around your position in there. Share the weight between the front foot and the back foot. And let's secure our posture and then see if you feel happy to release your support or not. This is trickier than the previous ones. You can probably see my ankles twitching away there and yours might feel the same. Only 10 seconds and then move your feet back to your base position. All right, write down how many seconds you're able to achieve on those three levels so far, if you haven't done already. The very last one here for our four point balance check is the one leg stand. So there's a couple of ways we can get into this. You might prefer your support in front of you. Toes behind, just resting down for now. And if that's enough for you, then that's fine. Just make a note of these little variables. And then if you're attempting the one leg stand, you can try and lift the foot and Either keep your hands there, bring it to a lighter fingertips, or have a go at taking your hands away. You might want to have a go on the other side if you've had your left foot in front throughout all of those. You might want to have a change over and have a look at how your balance fares through those different positions um, with the other foot in front. Here in seated, it might not be suitable for some of you to be in standing. We can, of course, replicate those positions of the feet. There's the feet together. There's the slight one foot in front of the other. There's the definite one foot in front of the other, all with posture checks, of course. 
and then we can have a one leg stand with the knee being raised there. So there's a few options for those of you who aren't quite ready to be in standing. What have we got next? Let's have a look. This is the last one of our progress checks. It's the 30 second timed chair rise. Now, if you want to do this with us now, I'm sure there'll be other people somewhere, someplace having a go at this, but I'm gonna time 30 seconds and you can count your own. So in a moment though, we'll get going. If you are in standing, of course, from that last progress check, then come down into seated. Oh look, crowbar and in another, another lowering phase of the stand to sit. Uh, your chair rise check. Here we are. It's all about the sit to stand here. It's all about a bit of strength in your legs and some power in the legs as well through this check. A couple of things that will make a, a stand easier to achieve. You might, if you've been working more so towards standing, you might prefer to just have something in front of you for when you get into standing. Being forwards in the chair is another important point that will help you be more successful in standing, as is drawing the feet back and keeping the heels down. We just need to have a look at the top half now, because if I was to try and stand up from here, it wouldn't work so well. So posture checking, leaning forwards so that you now look like you're ready to stand. So we are going to be powering up and then sitting back down again, best you can. You can use your hands if you like on the thighs or to come down to grasp the chair to uh, assist in that lowering part. Um, See how many you can do in 30 seconds. I'm not going to do any because I don't want um, you to try and match me. I want this to be completely just you. Let me just get into here. All right. So are you ready? Steady, people. Uh, just to note as well, every time you sit down, that's when you count your number. Are you ready? In three two, one, begin. So keep going best you can. Try and control as you sit, but oomph a little bit of power as you stand. You're halfway there. Keep going, last few. Saying that if you've had enough, then take a rest now. Four, three, two, one, stop. There we go. All right. Maybe just let us know how many you've done um, in the chat box or in the messages uh, and it'll be great to have a look. Right, we're moving into our final mission for this movement snack, which is having a look at what April's got to offer us. Where is it? So April has to offer us um, some sidestepping actions. So these are good for hip movements, hip muscles. Um, we do sideways stepping as we're turning as well, as we're manoeuvring ourselves around bathrooms, kitchens, anywhere and everywhere. So I've not got that much room here, have I? Let me just move something out of the way a little bit. So side steps then in standing, try and focus on your posture of course and have some support perhaps in front of you as you travel through your side steps. You might want to just begin with your feet a little closer together so that's where you've got somewhere to step to. So we're going to pick up the feet pick up the knees and then take a step back to a new starting position. I've only got enough room to do one in each direction, but if you're moving in the kitchen 
or you've got a, a banister, let's say, at the top of your staircase, then you could do multiple sideways steps along there. I'm going to come towards you this time. So here we are with um, everything square to the front, picking up the knees, clearing the feet. Uh, sometimes you can hear a bit of a drag on the bring together of the feet, but try and pick up the second leg just as well as you're doing the first. So it's just like you're stepping over a, an object on the floor. And there's your side stepping action for around the hips and a, a really functional move. Now here in seated, here's your option. I'm gonna move my chair to here. So you will be ideally at the front portion of the chair. So it's just your bottom on the chair and the backs of your thighs away from it. I don't think you can see my feet as well there. Let me head back a little bit. This should be better. All right, so bringing the feet and knees a little bit closer to one another. Here's where you could have your hands or on the thigh, wherever's comfortable. And here's the lift and the step. So this is a step that you might use if you're getting into or out of a car, if you're getting into or out of the bath, perhaps. I've just done two on that side. You can do a few on each side if you want, or keep going kind of one side, return, other side, return. It's up to you. Either way, plant the foot down, as you step, toes ball heel, toes ball heel. You might feel your bottom swizz round a little bit in the chair as well, that's okay. It depends on how wide the step is to whether you feel your hips kind of move in the chair or not. As the knees come up, try and keep your posture up. And there we have your side stepping actions in seated and standing for our April um, month of the movement snacking calendar. All right, we're done. So we've got a few progress checks there. Um, if you've been with us for a few months doing these now, you'll have some results that you can perhaps um, compare and contrast. Um, and it hopefully is showing some kind of progress and uh, in, in improvements in, in how you're doing stuff. Right, you're all done. Um, so there be your April movement snack calendar, progress checks and um, movements. Thanks all. Uh, we'll see you again in a month's time for more progress checks as we head into a new month. Take care all. Bye now.